Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this morning reset. So this is gonna be a lovely practice to add into your morning routine. And there's gonna be a little bit of a focus on releasing through our lower spine. So if you're spending a lot of your days at the moment, maybe sat at your desk or just in your house, maybe in your car even, um, this is just gonna help release any tension that you might feel there. So let's come into a comfortable comfortable seated position. If you struggle to sit this way, I would definitely recommend sitting on a block or grabbing yourself a pillow. Relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. And then see if you can stack your heart over your hips and then your head over your heart. So it's almost like you're leaning back onto an imaginary wall. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, send it down towards your belly. And take a long sigh out. Same again, breathing in, send it down. And letting go. Just take a moment to welcome yourself to the practice. And notice how it feels to be in this body today. So checking in physically, mentally. Also checking in energetically this morning. And then start to deepen your breath, breathing in and out of the nose. Using the breath to power up and recharge the body. And when you're ready, blinking, the eyes open. Let's take a lovely big breath in, lift out of your waistline. And as you exhale, come over to one hand side. So maybe some of us can get to our forearm. Make sure both sitting bones remain grounded. And then as you inhale, come up through center, over to the opposite side, maybe to forearm, maybe you stay on the hand. Good, as you inhale, come up through center. And then as you exhale, you're gonna forward fold. So hands come out in front, allowing your head to drop down. Releasing through the lower back and into those hips. Good. From here, walking your hands all the way over to the left hand side. So just go as far as you need to go to feel that stretch through the side lower back. Maybe your belly even relaxes onto that thigh. Good. And then walking your hands back towards you. You're going to cross your legs the opposite way. So the non-habitual way. Take a nice big breath in, reach out of your waist, and then you're going to take a little twist over to one hand side. So draw in the belly in. Finding that rotation through your middle and lower spine. Good. Inhale, reaching up. And then taking the twist over to the opposite side. Take every breath and every movement with intent this morning. That's like the biggest part of the practice. Lovely, as you inhale, reach on up with that intent. And then as you exhale, folding forward, you're gonna feel it into the opposite hip. So maybe some of us walk our hands all the way forward. You can just let your forearms rest down. You can let your head rest down. Releasing deep into that lower back. Good, and then walking your hands all the way over to the opposite side, so over to the right. So maybe your belly relaxes onto that thigh, head maybe rests onto the knee or just hangs in space. Good, 
Good, and then walking the hands back towards you. And let's find an all fours position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath our hips. Just a couple of rounds of cat-cow. So inhale to drop the belly, lift the heart. How does that feel this morning? And as you exhale, how does it feel to round it on out? Scoop your belly up in your own time. Rolling through this motion, see if you can explore a little more space in between each vertebrae with each breath. Good, then come into a neutral place with our spine, spread the fingers wide, tucking the toes, downward facing dog. Nice, take a little pedal through the feet, a little shake out through the head, whatever you need. Good, and then take your feet a bit wider, so maybe even as wide as your mat, or even wider than your mat if you're not on a slippy floor. Keep the legs straight initially, and see if you can lift your tailbone higher, lift your belly up. Good, and then swing your hips from side to side, so you start to feel it into the inner thigh, groin area. Really root down through every knuckle, so you're protecting your wrists. Good, and then bend into one knee deeply and then the other and just see what kind of effect that has through the hips and through the lower back. Wonderful, good. And then coming to a neutral place, step your feet hip width apart and then bend your knees and begin to walk your feet towards your hands. Take a lovely hanging forward fold. So a nice generous bend in the knees so your tummy can relax on your thighs, your lower back is supported. Grab opposite elbows and just allow yourself to really hang out. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. Good, then fingertips down to the mat. Soften the knees and slowly begin to rebuild yourself one little vertebrae at a time. Good, inhale, reach your hands high overhead. And as you exhale, hands together at heart center. Good, big toes touch. Fan out your toes, standing proudly. Inhale, lift your prayer, look up to your thumbs. And then as you exhale, engage through your core as you slowly dive forwards. Inhale for a half lift, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, fold. Good, inhale, lift halfway. Engaging through the upper back. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, lift. Lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back to a plank. Strong through your plank, so squeeze your glutes, engage through the core. Lovely, nice big breath. Exhale, drop the knees down. Slowly lower your body down with control. Inhale to lift the chest forwards and up into baby cobra. Exhaling back into a downward facing dog. Nice, breathe in, breathe out. Good, inhale, float your right leg high into the sky. As you exhale, you're gonna step it onto the outside of your right hand. Good, drop your back knee, untuck the toe, and then you're gonna make some circles with your hips here. So don't worry if they're not perfect circles. Just kind of move into something that feels good through your hips, and this is really lovely for loosening up through that lower back as well. Good, and then circling the opposite way. And just check in with that front foot. Maybe some of us, the toes point directly forwards. Maybe some of us, it feels nicer to have the toe pointing out to the side a little bit more. So just gently waking up through those hips, wonderful. Good, let's step this right foot in between our hands, tuck the back toes, lifting that back knee. Good, reaching the right hand up, finding a little twist through that middle spine. Good, draw your belly in and then imagine someone's pulling this top hand back behind you coming into a open twist here. Strong back leg. Good, take a nice big breath in. 
And then as you exhale, reach both hands high and then come into a warrior two. So dropping the back heel, opening out the arms, finding yourself in a strong warrior. Good, strong through the legs, shoulders down and away from the ears. Great, straighten up that front leg. Let's find triangle pose. So reach out of the hip, right hand down, left hand up into your triangle. Good, breathing in. Exhale, look down. Inhale to come on up. And as you exhale, bend deeply into that front knee. Lovely, flip your front palm. Inhale, reach forwards, reverse it back. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands to the inside of that right foot. So you can always shimmy that right foot further to the right, spin on your back toes. And then find a little bounce in your back leg and you're gonna find a yogi squat here. So stepping your left foot forwards, sitting down low into your squat. Hands together at your heart, glutes are nice and relaxed. Lovely. Good, from here, dig down through your heels, begin to engage your glutes. You're gonna come up to standing. So pressing through those heels, inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, feet together, hands by our sides. Wonderful, engage through your core. Inhale, reach the hands up, sink low into a chair pose. As you exhale, fold. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, plant the hand, step it back to a plank, breathe. And when your exhale comes, lower through a vinyasa. So you can use the knees if you wish. Inhale, strong legs wherever you are, point your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, nice. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale to step it onto the outside of your left hand. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe, have a bit of an explore. So circles with those hips. You can turn that left toe out to the left. Lovely. And if there's anything that feels particularly good, see if you can like move into that a little bit more. Good, and then circle in the opposite way. It's quite a nice one to like close your eyes and really like, Listen to what feels good in this moment. Very nice, good. Come into a neutral place. You're gonna heel toe your right foot in between, your left foot, sorry, in between your hands. Left, ha sorry, right hand is gonna come down. Tuck the back toes, lift that back knee, and then open up into a twist. So your left hand is gonna reach up. Strong back leg. Zip up your belly, and then you're gonna float your right hand up, and then reach it forwards as your left hand reaches back. Good. Breathe in, find your stability, find your strength. Lovely, one more breath in. And then as you exhale, in your own style, finding your warrior too, so dropping the back heel, opening out the arms, slowly into that strong, Virabhadrasana two. Slight tuck of the tailbone, engage through that core, and then straighten up the front leg, finding your triangle. So reach, reach, reach. Left hand down, right hand up, lean back. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, open across the heart. Lovely, nice big breath in. Exhale, looking down. Inhale to come on up, and as you exhale, sink into your strong warrior. Very nice, flip your front palm, inhale, reach forwards, reverse. As you exhale, bring your hands to the inside of that front foot, spin on your back toes. So you can shimmy that left foot further to the left. Find a little bounce in your back foot, and then step it forwards into your yogi squat, deep squat. Hands can stay on the floor if you wish, or hands together at heart center. Nice, proud and open chest. Good, really relax your glutes now, so we're not gonna come up to standing, so see if you can soften through your glutes, feel that release through your lumbar spine. Nice, big breath in. 
Exhale, hands come down, and we're going to bring the soles of the feet together here. Bring your feet just a little bit further away, just so we're not in super tight. And then let's make some circles. So hands can be on your ankles or your shins. And just kind of wind it out, leaning into the parts that feel really good. Lovely. And then circling the opposite way. Again, you can close your eyes if you want and just make it really kind of rhythmic and massage-like. Good, and then sitting nice and tall, breathe in. Exhale, let's take a little twist over to the left. So your left hand comes behind, your right hand can come to the outside of that knee, or for some of us, pushing into the opposite thigh, you might be able to twist just that little bit more. So not too much pressure, just enough to feel a little bit of an opening through the inner thigh and get some more rotation through the middle back. Good, inhaling through center, twisting the opposite way. So maybe hand comes onto the knee like so, maybe some of us pushing into that inner thigh, just don't press into the knee joint. Looking behind. Take one more breath on this side. And then come back through center. From here, we're gonna slowly round forward. So no forcing here, just allow yourself to drape forward. You can grab a pillow or just let your head hang in space. Soften across the face. Soften your shoulders down the spine all the way to your lower spine, tailbone. Relax deep into the hips. One more big deep breath down to your belly. And let it go. And then slowly making your way back to seated. Eyes closed. Let's just take a few moments of stillness. Hands onto the knees or the thighs. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale, allowing that sense of ease to wash over you. Notice how you feel now. And then bringing your hands together at your heart, bowing the head down. Really thank yourself for carving out this little bit of time and energy to look after your body and your mind this morning. When you're ready, slowly opening the eyes and welcoming yourself back into the rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this morning reset. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do check out my morning playlist and I shall see you on the next video. Bye.